Singaporeans love their movies, no doubt about that. But if you are going to do something you love, you might as well do it right. The luxury cinema experience has been gaining popularity among cinema goers here. And three major film exhibitors, Cathay Organization, Golden Village and Shaw Organizations, each have answered the call for the Porsche service. On this Razy TV special, we check out what they have to offer. Who has the most comfortable seats? The best tasting food or best service? Find out right now what All The Rage is about. It's a trend that has spread from Australia to America and even the Middle East, and now luxury cinemas are catching on in Singapore. CEO of Cathay Organisation, Mr. Suhaimi Rafti, tells how the idea for Cathay's Platinum Suite came about. Well, the Platinum Movie Suite started when we ventured into the Middle East, and the Middle Easterns, as you know, they want to have over-the-top plush movie experience. And when we started our business there two years ago, uh, we needed to have a different class type to cater to the mass audience as well as those that are referring to wanting to have finer things in life. Yeah. So the Platinum Movie Suites was born two years ago in the Middle East. Yeah. We couldn't do it two years later until now because the opportunity came about for us to convert an existing hall that used to be serving commercial movie going into this experience. Hence this started just about now. The former picture house at the Cathay was transformed into the latest luxury cinema in late April. But Rafdi assures that fans of art house and indie cinema can still get their fix at the normal cinemas. Another luxury cinema are Shaw's premier theatres at Shopping Mall Nix. Executive Vice President of Operations Mark Shaw speaks on the decision that placed the first suburban luxury cinema at Serangoon Central in January. Well, Nix was the first new cineplex you know, we, we've done in quite a while. And... Um, it, because it was a clean slate, it gave us an opportunity to do something new. And uh, the positioning of Next, obviously, you know, is, is a little uh, more high-end than your average suburban mall. So Premier seems like a good fit with Next. Uh, why not Town, though, to open like a Premier theatre? Well, I mean, when we, when we conceived, conceptualised Premier, um, we thought about doing it in Town as well. However, you know, our, our plans for Lido, which is our main town cinema, weren't ready yet. So next was an opportunity to try out a concept and see how it went. Golden Village themselves are no stranger to luxury cinemas. In 1999, they opened the first one in Singapore at GV Grand, Great Wall City. And come December 2011, GV will have a whopping six gold-class halls in three locations. One at GV Grand, three halls at GV Vivo City, and two at the tentatively named GV Katong. As you can see in terms of coverage, GV has the most cinemas with tickets going at $28 on weekdays and $38 on Friday, weekends, public holidays and eve of public holidays. When asked about the recent $2 increase from $36, GV told Razor TV after holding off ticket pricing revisions for 3 years, they were forced to follow the lead of their competitor and make minor adjustments due to ongoing increase in labour costs, rent and utilities. At Cathay's Platinum Suites, pricing is similar, and the most affordable of the three is Shaw's Premier Theatres at just $20 and $25 Monday to Thursday, and $25 and $30 for Friday weekends, public holidays and the eves. Okay, so how's the reception been so far? The adoption rate of patrons coming Well, in? you know, uh, when we first started off, we didn't really publicise it, so we used to get a couple of walk-ins here and there, and you know, while the kitchen staff and the wait staff were sort of ramping up their, their service levels. Um, Four months on, I'd say it's pretty good. You know, we, we've got a pretty steady stream of customers. We've got some very loyal customers who keep coming. And, you know, we're really happy about that. And, you know, the F&B spend is, is very good. We, we're happy with the performance of this. We, on weekends, um, you, you have definitely have to make a booking. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not going to get a seat. Yeah. When operations first began, Cathay requested their patrons fill a feedback form. Out of the positive feedback on their ambiance and food, they found out the negative feedback a pleasant surprise. Is there any a negative feedback which you guys have worked on already? Well, the negative feedback is um, they felt that our staff are a bit more attentive than usual. So some customers felt that, um, you know, your staff, whenever they see me, when I look at them, they ask, sir, is there anything I can help you? <laughs> so it's a happy problem for yeah, us. Exactly. But we told the staff not to worry. I mean, if they, they don't like to be disturbed or if they really need your service, they probably tap on you or call for service. So we're a bit more over, overly attentive than we should. And that was the feedback which I thought was a happy problem. You might spend up to three hours watching a movie, so a comfortable seat is paramount. We stack up the competition in the next part to see which luxury cinema will be kinder to your bottom.